so we have Panda today and she's came in because she's been chewing on a fish hook. So I've actually already pushed it through, but before I did that we cut, um, all you could see was this fish hook going in. So we've had to sedate her because she's so bouncy. And what I've had to do is push. Now it was actually quite blunt, so I've had to make a wee cut just over the point of the hook, and then I've managed to push it through. And you can see why you can't get it back, and that's because of that wee barb which would stop you pulling it backwards. So now we've pushed it through, we just cut that hook right off. So that's quite a big hook, so we're actually having to get our big wire cutters. And that way we can pull the hook back through without that barb. And out it comes. So we usually do a wee flush of those wounds, although they're not too bad. But we do put them on a wee antibiotic shot. But that's that out. And she can just wake up when she's ready. And there's your hook. So we see a lot of these because we're actually um, near the ocean and in the sounds. So yes, this is quite a common occurrence. And even in cats too, we can actually see the end of it. Luckily they're all usually in the lips, very occasionally we have seen them down the esophagus and even into the stomach, so obviously that's a, a worst case scenario, so then we have to go surgery to remove it. Anyway, there we go. Okay, she'll be waking up, so thanks for watching.